Before we begin working on using PHP to make our project interactive, able to take input from the user and act on it, we need to step aside and have a short look at PHP, what it is and how it works. If you're familiar with the basics of PHP, you can skip any or all of this chapter. The whole chapter is a series of small exercises and no changes are made to the project files. So you can skip it entirely or you can dip in and out as you want. Each lesson ends with a little piece of homework and it might be good in any case to do that because each one covers an important point that will be needed when we get back to work on the Favourite Movies project. The name PHP is a strange abbreviation. It's a recursive abbreviation which means it stands for itself and means PHP Hypertext Preprocessor. It's the first true programming language that we've looked at so far meaning that it's the first language we've seen which can make decisions. It can do different things according to the data it receives and give us quite different output. PHP is specifically designed to work together with HTML and most PHP files are a mixture of PHP and HTML. The PHP supplies the parts of the document which change, data of some sort. On a shopping website it could be products or in the case of this project, a particular moviegoer's list of favourite movies at a given time. The HTML supplies the parts which don't change, the structure and the layout of the pages. The official website for PHP is php.net, and you can find the online manuals for PHP and all the built-in functions of it there. In the next video, I'll demonstrate in a simple example how PHP and HTML are combined in one file.